The Elite Four in this Pokemon ROM hack, Pokemon Rising Ruby, is insane. This is the finale to my Pokemon Rising Ruby Hardcore Nuzlocke series. Rules are on the screen right now. This is a series that's been on my channel for a while. This is a pretty old run of mine, but I was uploading the old VODs for archival purposes. I don't really want to do those long form videos anymore, but I thought I might as well give this series a proper finale, a proper send off for those of you who are actually watching it here. And if you're new to the channel, um, feel free to go back in the playlist. But the finale itself is pretty entertaining too. Hope you guys enjoy it and have fun with three-year-old me. That That's not right. Hold on. It's not, I'm not three years old in the... This is, have fun with me from three years ago. It's Wally time. Ice Beam here just kills the Rosary. We don't even have to worry about like anything. Petal Dance, we're not gonna take any damage from this shit. Yeah, just watch me. That was a crit. That was a crit. That was a crit, dude. There we go, that's a two turn confuse. Next Ice Beam kills here. That should not be heal range. Um, I could soft boiled here. I don't think I need to though. Hit yourself. Okay, that's fine. Got him. Okay, Azumarill. Um, okay. This shouldn't be able to do anything against Lantern. Should be a pretty easy way to counter it. Superpower. And it's just gonna get weaker from here. Yeah, we should be fine. Paralyze? Okay, knockoff is fine. I lose my magnet, but it's okay. It's actually quite a lot of damage there. Volt switch kill here. Okay. What's he gonna go into? Magnezone, Garchomp, Talonflame. Shit, I wasted a lot of I, I think I think generally Swampert is a good switch. Oh he he switches after me, right? So wait, I can actually force a Garchomp switch here. I can force a Garchomp switch by going into Dragonite here, I think. There we go. He should Outrage now, which will get me to go into Skarmory. And as soon as he, his Outrage ends and he gets confused, I switch to Lantern to take the Fire Blast. And then I switch to Delibird to take the Earthquake, and then I can kill. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Rocky Helmet actually gonna damage it. Yeah, just Toxic here. In case anything goes wrong, I need I need Toxic to be on this thing. Okay, Outrage ends. He's now gonna be inclined to Fire Blast, which gets me to switch to Lantern. Maybe hit himself here. Okay, there's a Fire Blast, I can take that. Okay, now he's inclined to Earthquake, which finally gets us to go to Delibird. First time I'm ever using a Delibird in any of my runs, and it's gonna fucking destroy this. Snapped out, Earthquakes, not affected. You know what? We're gonna add Insult to Injury. Aerialite Fake Out, let's fucking go. Is this gonna kill it? This is actually gonna kill it after Poison. Ooh, rough skin though. Nah, I should probably just ice beamed. Talon Flame. Okay. I have to use Swampert for this. I don't have enough HP on um, Lantern. This is actually kind of kind of a problem. Yeah, I'll protect one turn. Ah, uh, this could be Swords Dance though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Swampert. Shit, okay. Good thing I didn't protect, I guess. Okay, we gotta take this out with a, with a with a mega waterfall. I think I can live a brave bird here. I have to live one.
This could go really badly. You have to survive this. Come on, you've been with us from the start, Swampert. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he survived the crit! What a fucking god! What a fucking god! Waterfall this shit, dude. Waterfall this shit up. Mmm. That felt so fucking good. Oh my god, that felt so good. <sighs> okay. This magazine rides on an air balloon. This thing is this thing is packed. Um Honestly. Uh Blissey switch is good. It can't really do anything against Blissey, but I also like the Dragonite switch. Hold on. What's his last Pokemon? His last Pokemon is Galley, which gets countered by Skarmory 100%. Lantern? I think Blissey is the safest here. It's not gonna deal as much damage, but we can at least pop the air balloon with this. Signal beam is completely fine. T wave is fine. It's just gonna make things a little bit more complicated. I could probably pop the balloon. And then just switch Dragonite. Switch here and get HP on Lantern. That's probably not even bad. Yeah. Yeah, Lantern is Volt Absorb. Let's actually do that. Um, let's heal with Thunderbolt here. There's a Thunderbolt. Volt Absorb heals us. Now we can switch to Dragonite and kill. Flash Cannon is fine. It's actually no damage whatsoever. We just go for the Earthquake and kill. Did pop the Air Balloon. That means one Pokemon left. It is a Mega. It is a Mega that's left. We have the Mega Gallade here. Could I stay in or does this have Ice Punch? Skarmory switching is pretty good here, especially considering it could protect. 154, yeah, I'm f I think I'm fine to close combat crit. I think I'm fine to close combat crit. I should be slower here, so Roost is fine. It could protect here too. Okay, we can take that. Wow, I wasn't fine to close combat crit at all, I completely missed that calc. Shit, how much, how much HP did I have before Roost? Do I switch? Switch out to Dragonite. Uh, I feel like I kind of fucked up here. How many protect- he's on two- he's on three close combat PP right now. I definitely never Toxic here. There's only five. It's not that high of a chance to crit. I can just stall him out of close combats. There's three more left. He has- he used two so far. I think I lose too much tempo if I switch. I think I should just roost. Like 28%, 18? Oh yeah, it's 18, not 28. That seems okay. Oh, he protects. We win, right? I think we still, we're still dead to close combat crits. Close combat crit should be around like 150 damage. Okay. That, that protect was really good for us. Damn. Okay. So fly is actually kind of bad here. I think I need to iron head. Oh yeah, we spam- if we spam Roost, we just win. If we spam Roost, we win. He can't do anything. Oh, I guess he knocks off- Ah, uh, he knocks off the Rocky Helmet, though. We- we- okay, that doesn't work then. Then I need to Toxic. Actually, Fly here is fine. He could Protect again. Okay, never mind. Ah, uh, this is shit. Ah, uh, that was a bad one. There's the Protect. Okay, now I'm in a fucked up situation. Don't crit me one time, dude. Okay. Iron Head is gonna kill from here, dude. He's like minus three. There's just one more close combat. I have to play around one more crit anyway, right? And he could protect. Okay, there we go, Wootman. Holy shit, dude. We win. 
Skarmory is insane, dude. Holy shit. Got him. We actually got away with using a fucking deli bird. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? We got away with using this piece of shit? Holy fuck, dude. Let's do this. Alright, so right off the bat, this weave off is probably gonna knock off my item. That's fine though. That's a lot of damage. I guess that's a, that's a stab knockoff though. Okay, nice. To a great start. Okay, Scrafty coming up. Um, we're looking at, ooh, we're looking at Intimidate here. High jump kick, knock off, iron head, head smash. I think if we fly here, we could just make him miss his high jump kick and just get a huge lead immediately. Yes, yeah, I jump kicks. Ooh, please let this kill through Intimidate. Uh, dude, high jump kick might be a lot of damage. Oh no. Miss. Oof, that crit though. Oh my god. Like, losing Skarmory means I probably lose this run. Yeah, Iron Head is perfect here, actually. Okay, there's a full restore. That's fine though, because now we just fly. He misses high jump kick again. Fly hits and he's dead. Assuming the Iron Head deals enough damage here. Oh, there's leftovers though. There's leftovers. Uh, I'm not gonna fly here. I have to think about a switch strategy. I think the Dragonite switch here is guaranteed, right? And then I go from there, because he's gonna high jump kick here. Do we now predict the head smash and go into Terrakion? And then we sweep, right? He probably switches Greninja into the Terrakion, and then I go Blissey, and then we get, I guess we see from there. Like he then goes Bisharp into Blissey, and I have no switch into Bisharp. That's really shitty. That's like really shitty. I guess we could we could like test head smash damage here. Dude, if I spam Roost, I think he can kill himself with head smash. Huh, Swampert can probably take on the Bisharp actually. You know what? I think I like my Terrakion strat. Head smash, okay. That's fine. Okay. And now we Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword kills, right? I, ne I don't need to worry about Sacred Sword not killing here. I guess there's no risk to close combat. I think there's no risk to close combat. Because I'm never getting- I'm never planning on getting hit with Terrakion anyway. If Greninja comes in, which is the only Pokemon that can, that can outspeed it, I just switch it out, right? I close, I close combat. Okay, Tyranitar. Stone Edge, Crunch, Ice Punch, Superpower. He wants to superpower here, but I'm faster and just kill him, right? There's no way close combat doesn't- <gasps> Oh no, that's not- Okay, this Tyranitar is an Assault Vest. I should be fine. I'm gonna close combat. Okay, there's Greninja. That's 100% faster than Terrakion. There's no way it's not. Um, it's like just stupid to stay in here. Does it have Pursuit or something? Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump, Ice Pump, Gunk Shot, Ice Beam, Gunk Shot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good damage, dude. You got me. Charge Beam, I actually think Thunderbolt is better here, because we always switch out no matter what comes in next. After this, Bisharp and Absol are left. Uh, Bisharp is actually quite the problem. I think I need to switch like Swampert into Bisharp. Whereas, if Absol comes out, I think I have to go into Terrakion. There's no way, there's no way Greninja KOs me. It is Stab, by the way, because it's Protein. Oof. That fucking crit into poison. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Gunk shot means we actually win here. Nice, that's so sick. Yeah, Greninja's paper. It's, it's poison type right now. We don't have to mega. Nice. I can beat that. I think I can just 1v1 that, right? Sucker Punch, Iron Head, Stone Age, Thunder Wave. I can just 1v1 here. I could even Mega. Can we actually beat Absol with Swampert? 
Okay, we can take the Sucker Punch here. That did like nothing, holy shit. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Focus Sash. I forgot about that. Absol. Okay, this is gonna Mega Evolve. Sucker Punch, play Rough Fire Blast, Iron Tail. Can we 1v1 this? Like, worst case, I can at least take a hit. Like, if, I, if I'm gonna switch, I can at least take a hit with, with Swampert, right? Like, if you play Rough Seer for some reason, I switch into Terrakion, I'm sad as fuck. Or, like, Iron Tails or whatever, for some fucking reason. Okay, he does Sucker Punch. That's really- oh my god, these fucking crits. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Holy shit. Got him. <sighs> Jesus Christ, off to a good start. Are you kidding me? Okay, Miss Mad, yes. Honestly, the worst thing that this can do is Thunder Wave us. It might just Moonblast all day, though. I'm actually going to lead off with a Thunder Wave here. It's like never wrong. Yeah, that does nothing. The special defense. Oh, that special attack drop. It's fine. I don't care. This is going to be the dumbest fucking Shadow Ball Moonblast off ever. But I do him way more damage than he does, and I have leftovers. It was like not even close. Alright, off to a great start. <sighs> Blessed part fairy? Nope. Okay, there's the Gengar. No hypnosis for you, my dude. He's just gonna focus blast, and it's not gonna do that much damage. I'm gonna Thunder Wave this. In case anything happens with this Gengar, if I Thunder Wave it, like, and I, can, I can switch anything in an outspeed and kill, right? That's like super important. And that one, one turn is usually worth it. That's super scary. I need to um, soft boil next turn in case of crit. This thing has Expert Bell too for that boost. Oh my god. I'm not dead to crit here, but it's close. <sighs> okay. I need to soft boil it again here in case of RNG. That's focus blast number four. He misses. Perfect. It's actually quite a lot of damage. Not a lot of damage, but we do have Serene Grace for those special defense drops, it's really nice. We're gonna start running out of Shadow Ball PP really soon though, but this is like the last thing I have to take out. Like Chandelure is another one, but Kingar is amazing special attack, yeah, it's really, really good. I can wait one turn with Soft Boiling. Nah, I think I should have Soft Boiled. I, I can't play this risky, never mind. That was really stupid. Switch out Aggron, go back to Blissey. That could actually work. There's no, like, real downside to that, huh? Yeah, Chandler has Trick Scarf. I don't know if the AI can actually utilize that shit, though. I don't know if the AI is smart enough for that. Nice. Reset the minus two. I think I could have switched there. Yeah, that would probably been better. I'm not sure. Okay, Gorgeist. This is physical. Okay, now we Mega, and we Heavy Slam, first time Mega Aggron boys, bask in his glory. <sighs> Look at that dude, that guy's thick as fuck. Yeah, we can take that because of Filter. It's a lot more damage than I was expecting. Fucking annihilated, holy fuck. If this thing tricks on Chansey, I'm like, okay. I could like predict the trick and go into um, 
I think he fire blasts though, and if he fire blasts once he's locked in because he has choice scarf, he can't trick anymore after that. I don't think he ever tricks here. I don't think the AI actually does that, right? Cannot lose the Mega Stone, no. Yeah, there's Fire Blast. Okay, we're we're good. No burn either because of paralysis. Nice special defense drop, dude. Yeah, now I two it KO. Yeah, I got this. Oh shit, it struggles. Oh god, that could actually do like a lot. Okay, never mind. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, we gotta let it kill itself. It's a soft boy. Got him, dude. Yeah, maybe we should take the free squish. Dust Snore here, Phantom Force, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Ice Punch. I think this is Skarmory's turn, right? We just toxic. This thing has a life orb, but this is gonna do a lot of damage with Phantom Force. I think we're free to toxic. Oh, it's gonna. Ooh, we're probably faster, right? So if he phantom forces. Phantom force is the two hit move, right? So he uses phantom force. He uses sweep fly, phantom force. Okay, so that doesn't work. So we toxic, right? What? What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Why is it earthquaking? What? AI throwing the match. He's like rage quitting. <laughs> what? He's not locked in, he has a life orb. Ooh, it was reading roost. <laughs> Do you think he maybe has a choice ban instead of life orb? And Rayano fucked up the documentation? Interesting. Okay. Will o Wisp, we just heal with the Lumberry. Knockoff, we're fine because we don't need the Lumberry anymore after that. We're not Blissey here because Blissey can't kill it. Mega Sableye is insane. That's fine. <laughs> Good job, dude. Okay. Set up D Dance. How many do you think we need? Do we just go plus six? Metal Burst is like Mirror Code and Counter in one, except it works on both moves, but it only deals 1.5 the damage instead of twice. Oh, what would it knock off if you have no item? That's true, right? And that's Phoebe. Halfway there. Okay. Do we Sacred Sword or do we Close Combat? Yeah, we have Expert Belt too. Yeah, I'll Sacred Sword. It's also a cooler animation. Psychic or Focus Blast coming either way. Blessy is gonna take this. Anyone remember fighting Jenks and Fire at Omega in the rival fights? How often did we wipe to this piece of shit, dude? Oh, or, um, what's your name? In Storm Silver, Ariana's Jenks? That thing fucking wiped me so many times, dude. Focus Sash here? Yeah. No special defense drop. I'm gonna, um... Do I even... Huh. Do I soft boil? I don't think I need to. Shadow Ball crit doesn't kill her, so I, I can't cook myself. Should be fine here. Always soft boil when you can be slept. That's true. Don't crit me. It doesn't matter. Leftovers after a Halo P. Yeah. Okay, there's the Mammal Swine. Like, whatever he uses, he's gonna lock himself in because he's choice scarfed. Yeah, he locks himself into Earthquake, maybe. Okay, superpower is fine.
Okay, so we just win, right? I guess we can't really roost. This, is, this probably kills on minus two defense, right? Yeah, I got him. Gotta go to Blissey. And now we just spam Toxic because of Destiny Bond. It's Life Orb Frostless. It's gonna die even faster to Toxic. Okay, now we just spam Softball till this dies. I guess we need Softball against Wall Rain, technically. Um, One Shadow Ball? That's way too risky. That's way too risky. I'm just gonna Toxic until I need to Soft Boiled. Like, this just needs to die to poison, that's all that has to happen. I'm missing a lot of blizzards here for us, I'm not sure how I how I feel about your accuracy right now, my dude. Okay, there's the destiny bond. It's completely fine. I guess, like, thinking back on how I lost to this game against, like, the first fucking... The first youngster on the first route, like, four times. How I took 25 failed attempts on this run. How I took, like, months and hours and hours. You know what? It actually feels kind of good, Tyrone. It actually feels kind of good to win this way. No full restore? Shit. Okay, there should be no more full restores, right? Please tell me there's no more fucking full restores. I really need those two soft boils. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Okay, wall ring. We actually Thunderbolt here, because I don't want to waste Toxic into a Protect. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Fucking Ice Body. This thing is going to heal a lot, dude. This is going to be like the even worse stall off. But as long as we hit our Toxics, I don't think she has any more Full Restores, so we should be fine. Oh, it has Earthquake, huh? I didn't read that at all, but it doesn't do any damage, because Blissey's insane. Set is wrong? Yeah, Set says Sur Surf Blizzard Hail Protect. I feel like it doesn't have Protect. And the only thing that's left is Glalie, so Blissey's HP doesn't really matter here. Yeah, Earthquake instead of Protect seems to be the thing here. This will be close, it'll probably be roll dependent. Uh, maybe I should have soft boiled. Yeah, I need to soft boil there. Yeah, and can't, yeah, we need to play around the crate here. You guys are right, Skarman. The question is, does Iron Head actually kill? Because if it doesn't, that's kind of fucked. I know I'll even listen to, the, to you guys in the switch here. Swampert? It's actually a decent switch. I didn't even realize Hail was gone. I'm good here then. There's no freeze dry on this thing, though. No. I mean, it could be, the, the notes are all wrong. Stone Edge is safer, like, a safer kill, but I think Earthquake always kills here. Nice. Okay, Mega Glalie coming in here. This is what we brought Mega Aggron for. This is literally the only reason. And I guess a few, I guess, yeah, a few things on, on Steven. Okay, I think I got this. Yeah, this clearly has freeze right? I can never ever ever stay in there. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Fight. Mega. Heavy slam. <sighs> Holy shit. That fucking stall off though, Jesus. We can take that, we have filter. Pretty easily, actually. Mega Glalie looks so dope. It's pretty cool, yeah. Wow, that doesn't actually kill. I might be dead to freeze right good, actually. I don't know. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Holy fuck. That really had me sweaty at the end. I feel when I actually didn't bet on the fucking glacial fight. Twelve percent to get crit, boys. All right. Okay. Switch to Blessy to take a Draco. 
lower its special attack, and we then switch to Dragonite. Are we faster? That's actually fairly important. That animation is so fucking sick, dude. <laughs> dude, Blissey is so ridiculous. Now we switch to Dragonite. So this Draco Meteor and the next Draco Meteor are going to do the same amount of damage. Let's just pray for no crit here. Whoa, that was a crit. And we lived it, dude. That Havenberry saved the fuck out of me. Holy shit. If I roost, I died a crit, right? But I can't substitute. I need to get up one more Dragon Dance anyway, so I have to roost. There's no other play. No crit one time, dude. One fucking time. Okay. We can sub now, right? How much damage did we take from sub here? This is close, actually. It's not close, right? Yeah, we can sub. Sub is 70 damage. Because he breaks the sub, right? Yeah, I have to roost, actually. I have to roost, because he breaks the sub right now. Five PP. Okay, this should be his last. Dodge a crit here. Dude, good thing I taught substitute, huh? That should have been his last Draco Meteor. Holy shit, we did it. I'll set up three Dragon Dances to be sure. And a substitute, and then we should just sweep. I don't think there's anything we can do. Okay, dude, focus blast me all you want, dude. Okay, now we sub and now we sweep. <sighs> we did it. We win. We're going to Steven. Did we actually fucking win this? <sighs> Drake, you ubers using piece of shit. How important was it to have that berry? That was so fucking important. That was so fucking important. I'm pretty sure that's the only way we win this fight, right? Can we set up Dragonite on Steven's turn? Yes, the problem comes in um, Aggron sturdy. So we never can want to KO Aggron and then just KOs, KOs back with, with Stone Edge unless we can set up a substitute. I don't know, I don't trust that shit. This is it. We're actually down to six Dragon Claws. Let's hope that's enough, huh? I didn't lap a berry. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay, start out with the Dragon Dance here. Actually, six Dragon Claws is not enough because of, oh, because of Focus Sash. All right, I guess this got interesting. I guess that was the last mistake we made, huh? You can lap on now? How, no. You're not allowed to use items in battle, what? Dude, leftovers. Makes this pretty easy. It's plus three, plus three. <sighs> okay. We Dragon Dance one more time, right? Can Brave Bird miss? No, right? Okay, I have to roost again. 
Brave Word is Brave Word is 15 PP. Sandstorm term is coming in soon. He roosts. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Need sub when he heals. Sub when he heals or sub sub when he sandstorms. This is plus six plus six, right? We used three on Drake, so we should be on what six dragon dances now. So we roost. We roost until sandstorm blows over. Then we substitute and then we kill with dragon claw. Roost actually brings it into sturdy here, but if it brave birds me one more time, it's gonna take recoil. Substitute fades, takes recoil, breaks the sturdy. Now is sandstorm turn. We can substitute and then we kill with dragon dance or we're dragon claw. There we go. That was perfect timing. All right. I think we win. We're plus six, plus six. It's not even remotely enough, dude. <laughs> Plus six, plus six, not even remotely enough. How am I gonna kill a fucking... How the fuck am I gonna kill a... An Aggron with that? I, I need the HP anyway to be able to constantly sub, so I might as well roost here when he doesn't Brave Bird me. This was a ship plan, I'm not gonna fucking lie, guys. <laughs> we can still do this. Okay, we just need to focus. Uh, the plan here is to get out of the situation with a substitute up on, Dra on Dragonite. Can we do this? This should be heal range. Yeah, let's just kill it with Dragon Claw. Because he's just gonna, just gonna go into DNC. Okay. Agron. Okay. Now, what we could do here. Yeah. I think our Agron always kills this. Why the fuck would I sack there, guys? Are you serious? Thunder Wave is kind of stupid, but we have rest, so it doesn't really matter. No more Sandstorm. We Mega. And we Earthquake. The jump from Swampert to Mega Swampert is not remotely as big as the jump from Aggron to Mega Aggron. Plus, Mega Aggron is actually immensely useful for this fight. Watch this Earthquake do nothing because of Filter. Holy shit, absolutely destroyed, dude. I think he has another full restore. We're just gonna Earthquake again. Wow, he doesn't full- is he out of full restores? Really? Okay. I don't think this thing can hurt us. Like, the file could be wrong here and it could have earth power. Do anything to Blissey? No, not really. I want to check for earth power there, I guess I'm not getting that. I'll just go to Blissey. Okay. Go for the Serene Grace Freeze here. That's no damage. Like, I beat this, it just takes a while. How do I efficiently beat this? I need to Toxic. I need to Toxic. Yeah, check for Earthquake here one more time by switching to Skarmory and getting the Toxic in. Wait, was that Earthquake or Earth Power? I wasn't even watching. Shit. It's actually like decent damage from Psychic, dude. Gotta watch the double screens here. Try rest on Agron. That's actually a decent idea. I'll softball on Blissey here and then I switch to Agron. Or do I just switch to... I guess I just take no damage on anyone just go to Skarmory, right? Because if he, if he full restores, I need to Toxic again. Yeah. Nice. The switching around with stealth rocks is kind of awkward though. It's fine. Nice avoid. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, we have we have memes, dude. This thing has life orb. We just roost one more time and it dies. Nice. Faster. 
four times super effective. Fucking destroyed. Not even close. Agron could probably take a lot of hits here. I'm assuming Agron can take two hits and we rest. Agron to X will absolutely take that many hits. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Switch to Skarmory, right? Switch to Skarmory, let itself wear down with. Uh, okay. Dude, it's fucking Mega Agron, dude. Come on. Dragonite? Dragonite doesn't actually do anything. Dragonite doesn't do anything, guys. It just takes self rock damage, takes a hammer arm, and then I have to switch it out again. That makes no fucking sense. Are you guys serious? I think a sack is in order, guys. I'm sorry to everyone who bet zero. Okay. He's gonna Meteor Mash here. That's a perfect time to switch in Swampert. It was all a ruse, guys. I wasn't gonna sack it after all. That was a lot of fucking damage, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's get the Earthquake. Swampert, can you finish this one for me? Swampert? You're the one we started with, dude. Can you finish this fucking run for me, please? Fucking 26 attempts. All for this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't fucking believe I'm finally done with this shitty fucking challenge, dude. 26 attempts. 26 attempts. <laughs>